Hey guys. Hello. So we're working in the shop here, getting a new product together. You might remember a few weeks ago, Eddie was showing us some uh, VU meter Action. that yep. she put together. And there's like a crap ton of wires that were required. So um, I decided to make a board that would take all of that and bring it into one. And so that's what this little board is. This is our VU meter board. There's our LM3914 chip that's doing all the magic. And um, thought we could show you what it went from to what it is now with the same functionality essentially. So when she said she was gonna make this into a PCB, I had a couple of thoughts on it. Uh, I didn't really like these bar graphs. Um, I didn't want to see a through hole soldered big blocky thing. So I was thinking maybe SMT LEDs would be good. And um, I had a hard time convincing her uh, of that idea. But what got her in the end was the fact that you can put them in any shape. And this is the shape that she drew up in KiCad. And it's pretty cool, I think. Speedometer style. Zero to 60 in zero seconds flat. <laughs> 128 beats per minute. Sure. Unts, unts. Boots cats. Yep. So we are going to show you an example of it working. Um, and then I will show you how easy it is to use compared to that cluster. Okay. I got my Game Boy thing. LSDJ running one of the songs I wrote and we'll just hit play on it. Sweet. Yeah. So um, this thing can actually be put into the breadboard and it can also be freeforming and there are two tiny mounting holes um, that you can use to stick into the face of whatever you want. Uh, so for this next part I'm going to take everything apart and then just show you how easy it is to put together and then we'll use um, this board on the breadboard uh, just to show you that it actually works on the breadboard. All right, so let's whoop. let's take all these wires out. La la. All right, we've got a Totic breadboard power supply. I've got five volts coming in from there, and then I've got let's see. Five volts isn't really necessary for this, though, is it? Uh, no, you could you could put as it's got a voltage regulator on it a 5 volt regulator So you could put as much uh, Technically the chip says 35 volts or 25 volts somewhere in between there, but don't do that. Don't do that I would suggest no more than Nine, 12 to 16 12, Max okay, just because of the resistors and the LEDs themselves So oh, okay, I've got all these wires all over the place Here's jack me um, and this board is uh, essentially breaks out two quarter inch jacks. So it's got TRS, tip ring shield of one, tip ring shield of two. This is one, this is two. Um, and then it also has tip three, shield three, uh, with a little speaker um, mount that you could stick on there for speaker wires. That's all, you know, if you want to put it to a speaker. But um, essentially any headphone you plug in should work. So if I were to put in headphones here, that would, this, you know, that would work. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect all of my tips to one line on the breadboard. So tip one and tip two. And the reason I want to connect uh, tip one to tip two is because I want the audio going into here to connect to the audio or to be the audio coming out of here. Right, so I'm just connecting these two jacks. Um, and then on here, this is signal plus, this is signal minus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wire from uh, the tips and then bring it to signal plus. And we're, we were gonna do this on the breadboard, right? All right, so I'm gonna put this in the breadboard. 
Oh, maybe I should put it correctly. Okay. And let's see, we will do tip to signal plus. All right. And then I'm going to take my ring, the rings of both these jacks, and connect them together. What are you doing? Okay, well, yeah, you can do it on the outside, you can do it on the inside. Whichever. I put enough room there so you can do either. Alright, so I've connected the rings together, and if you had another board here, just sitting here, you could certainly put ring to this board, and then you would have like a stereo VU meter. And then I'm going to connect all the shields together. So, tip ring shield. We'll go into this. Shield two. We'll go into this. And then I will take another wire and go from, oh, here we go, from the shields to signal minus. Okay, so we've got that. Um, and then, of course, we need to power up our chip, our LM3914 chip. So, let's see, I will take positive and go into positive minus and go into minus that's five volts and ground yeah yep okay and then these two potentiometers up here they calibrate this um this thing the, the view meter and i use just a normal Phillips head screwdriver. So we are going to start this. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Duh! <laughs> the audio has to go in! Alright, so I've got the Game Boy. You're really good at this. I know. And then we put the audio in, and then we want to be able to hear it. So this is the cord, the audio cable going into the punch box speaker system. All right, and once you have a load, your um, lights should stop freaking out. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's going. And then if you want to calibrate it to like saturate the lights even more, just move these, just um, turn this potentiometer a bit more. If you wanted to show, change more drastically. Transients. The transients. So that is this working on a breadboard. And then I can show you guys how it just trans, how I can change it to being freestanding. You ready? Freestanding! Oh, okay. So this, voila, automatically comes off. And what I'm just going to do is the tip, the tip stuff. I am going to use a female to female connector. So female in. And then female over here, right? And then same thing with the shield. Take the shield wire, untangle it. It's kind of funny that it's grounding through the audio connection. Mm-hmm. And then, bam. And then you have essentially freestanding. It's plenty bright enough without your hand. Cool. So, how do they get them? 
Um, so these you can find on our store at tindy.com slash stores slash T-Y-M-K-R-S. And uh, they should be available today. Uh, and we will have more coming in the mail. So if, if you... It's out of stock, just pre-order and yep. you'll get it. And right. I will take care of it for you. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.